Hello stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. Yeah, it's really dreary here today in Wisconsin. That doesn't help the like, you know, the whole tone of what's going on either. I'm happy to be here again with you tonight. I had hoped to get online a little sooner and bless her heart. Ginger, Ginger's sweet. Ginger called me. She's one of my newest discount shoppers and she needed a little help with her order. I am always happy to do that. Hi Sandy, Cynthia, Charlene. Somebody else just popped on here and I missed her. Let's see. Terry's here. Yvonne. Julie and Bonnie. Okay, now we're getting everybody in here. Sierra's here. Jean, welcome. Yeah, what's the weather like? What's the weather like at your house? Sandy's from Illinois. Uh, somebody just came in from North Dakota. Susan is here. Cindy, so happy to see me. I'm happy to see you too, Cindy. Thanks for joining me. So I had a lot of things. I have a lot of things to tell you. Oh my gosh. Hi, Bonnie. Bonnie says it's sunny, sunny in Indiana. It's raining today and I have to tell you that almost all the ice is off of our pool. So, that's good, right? <laughs> Happy hump day, Charlene says. Happy hump day to you too. So many things happening today. Haley was over and she did some work for me. Oh, I was gonna show you. Look at this basket of cards she made me. Now, yesterday she showed us, there's three different colors here and these are super duper cute. And I bought these, or I bought these. <laughs> well, I paid for them. Um, no. I have these to go in little skinny envelopes and they will be accompanying little gifts like this because I have these little skinny envelopes and a regular size card won't fit in the envelope. So I wanted Haley to make me all these little skinny cards and she's got about 40 of them here. I have postcards that I send out with my prizes, but I always feel a little guilty about that. It's like I should be putting a handmade card in it, but I'm only one person, right? So now I have help, and that's what Haley was finishing up for me today. So I'm going to put those down here by all my catalog stuff. By the way, <clears throat> which reminds me, if you're new to Stampin' Up! and you don't have our beautiful catalogs, we have two of them out right now. Let me see if I can find a cover here. We have our Spring Mini catalog. Is that the... Well, that's not the cover. <laughs> Let's see if I know what my catalog looks like. We have the spring mini catalog. And then we also have our big, huge annual catalog. And this is like stamper heaven. There are some great, great, not some, there's hundreds of great stamping and scrapbooking ideas in these books. Hi, Haley. Um, so if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you would like to choose me, I would be happy to send you these catalogs. You just need to pop me an email. My email address is Kelly at astampabove.com. Now, like I said, I have a lot of things to tell you. First of all, Haley was stamping with me today. Oh, I didn't get up till almost 10 o'clock. Did you see my morning picture? You gotta love Snapchat filters because they make me giggle all the time. And um, you'll find that when I'm bored sitting someplace waiting for something, I'll start doing Snapchat and just do a whole bunch of Snapchats. <laughs> And I will like share them with you guys online too because they're funny and I get bored and I just need to keep myself busy. But um, yeah, this morning I got up and my hair was like, I didn't get up till almost 10 o'clock. Holy cow. I usually get up around nine and you guys know that I'm a night owl. So I'm up till one, two, three in the morning, but I usually am up by nine. But today it was 10 o'clock and I came walking down the stairs like half comatose and I'm like, wow, I can't believe it's almost 10 o'clock. Holy cow, I must have been tired. So I'm glad I slept. Um, and then Haley came over, I don't know, around noon or so, did a little bit of work. And then we ran out to Sherwood, which is about 12 to 15 miles away. And it's by beautiful, um, Lake Winnebago. And, um, I'm, it's like, it's, I can't think of the name of it. Um, High Cliff, High Cliff. And High Cliff is like a scenic area. There's camping there and, you know, you have access to the lake, but it's real windy and pretty. It's almost like when you're over in Wisconsin Dells, which is a beautiful place to drive around too. So after we dropped off the paper pumpkin kit, UPS lost my paper pumpkin kit. So I ran out to Kathy's house yesterday. We totally did social distancing. She put it out on the little table on her front porch and I came in the driveway and grabbed it and left. 
Well, today we dropped it back off with her because I made all my paper pumpkin cards that I need for my blog hop tomorrow. And can I just say, the March kit is so fun and beautiful and gorgeous and I, I could have gone to town with it. But of course I couldn't because it's not my kit. And Kathy's like, you certainly could have, but I, I don't want to use up all her pieces, right? So anyways, um, Kathy and I are in a virtual group together for Paper Pumpkin. And that's where I get all these 15 different ideas that I can share with you when you're either on my team, you get them. Um, team of discount shoppers, business builders, I don't discriminate. You get a file of 15 different alternate ideas with Paper Pumpkin. Or if you're one of my subscribers, I also give you this file. So um, I made up my cards that I needed for my blog hop. And then I made up a card for Kathy so she doesn't have to make her alternate card this month. And it's really cute. I can't wait to show it to you tomorrow. Tomorrow on my blog, you'll find the Paper Pumpkin alternate idea blog hop. And that's where you'll be able to see my cards. They're sitting right over here. So I keep looking at them and they make me smile. So we need lots of smiles right now, right? Somebody just said it's a great paper pumpkin. It is the cutest thing. And, you know, it's almost like Stampin' Up! had some kind of um, insider information that the world was going to be crap right now. Because this kit and the sayings in it couldn't have come at a better time for these types of cards. Um, no matter the weather, we're in this together. I mean, how perfect is that? And wishing you brighter days ahead. That applies to everybody in the world right now. So I was pretty excited about it. Anyways, um, when we dropped off the paper pumpkin kit, I got back in the car and pulled out of the driveway and we were driving by Kathy's house and she came outside. So she stood at her front porch and we rolled down the window and so we were social distancing. We got to chat a little bit. <laughs> Kathy, you are just the best. That was a nice surprise. You're very welcome and thank you for letting me use your kit because I would have been scrambling to find another kit and I just so appreciated it. But anyways, um, we went and did a little sightseeing and then we went through Tom's drive through and I might have had a hot fudge sundae. I did and it was delicious. <laughs> so anyways, that was our little treat for the day. We just went for a little drive and we can do that. That's not getting any cooties, right? So, um, first of all, I want to award prizes from Facebook Live yesterday. I'm going to be giving away these gold-faceted gems. I'm like, what are they called? Gold-faceted gems. These are super-duper pretty. And you can also take your Stampin' Blend markers. I think you're, yeah, your Stampin' Blend markers, and you can color them any color you want. The winner from yesterday was actually one of the people that left a comment on YouTube. So I take my YouTube comments for my Facebook Lives that I upload to YouTube and also the comments from Facebook Live on Facebook and I throw them all together. June Franco, I know June lives in California. These are coming your way with one of those cute little cards that Haley made. So you watch your mailbox for a little happy mail, right? Yeah. Um, Connie says she's so glad she signed up for Paper Pumpkin again. I'm, I'm happy you did too because like I said, the kids have been better and better and better. Not that they were horrible or anything. But they're just, they're, they're knocking it out of the park. That's a better way to say it. These kits are so fun and they're perfect to sit down and do with your children. Everybody's kids are home from school right now. They're a perfect pastime to do with your kids because they're easy and everything comes in them except your scissor, scissors and your adhesive. Everything else is in the kits. You get a little ink spot in each one. They are fantastic and it's a really good activity to be doing with either children, beginner stampers, um, maybe uh, older people that are in the, um, what do you call that, the uh, assisted living facilities. They don't have a lot of room for a lot of all of this, right? But they could sure get a paper pumpkin kit and have so much fun putting it together. So you guys really need to think about that. It's a great thing to gift to somebody too. I know that um, my niece, Emma, I gifted her a paper pumpkin kit for many months. I thought I only bought her one, but apparently it was a subscription and I just kept paying for it every month and didn't even know it. But she loved it and so I kept it up for quite a while. Um, anyways, June Franco, you're the winner. These are coming your way. Then, I have some exciting news. You guys ready for this? Hang on, I gotta look here. Remember my chain? This is my 10, my 10. This is my million dollar chain. 
and I am um, coming up on my million dollar career to date sales goal total. And when you hit that million dollars, stamping up like just really throws you the biggest celebration ever. There's all kinds of stuff that go with it. But my team leader, Ann Hebner, made this chain for me. And so every time I get $10,000 closer to my million dollar mark, I get to tear off one of these chains. And this particular chain says $920,000. And guess what? Boom! It is gone. We just hit $920,000 this morning. Woohoo! And I said every time I hit and can tear off one of these chains, I am going to be celebrating with you by having a giveaway. So tomorrow I will be doing a giveaway for this card kit to celebrate my getting closer to my million dollars, right? This is a beautiful, beautiful card kit. Not unlike one of our paper pumpkin kits, it comes with all the stuff to make all these gorgeous cards. This was one of our celebration promotional items and we ran out of them. It's the, I think it was the first thing we ran out of during celebration because these are so gorgeous. So I'm excited to be giving this away. Hi, Michael. Hi, Cindy and Cynthia. We have lots of Cindy's and Chris or Joe coming in. Thank you. You guys are so sweet. Okay, I'm going to hang this back up here. It stays right here on my little lamp that comes up on my desk so we can celebrate again. And $920,000, your history, bye-bye. We're going for $930 now. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I was so excited today. What else can I tell you? Um, I have a pretty card to share with you today. We are going to be using the Parisian Blossoms Specialty Designer Series paper. And as soon as we flip the camera around, I will share with you. I actually have the paper here so I can show it to you a little bigger if you haven't seen it. It is delicious, and this is the first time I've actually cracked it open. So I'm excited to be using it. There are just so many products in this mini catalog. It's been crazy, right? So... Um, I wanted to give a little shout out to Chris Lane. Um, Chris has been messaging me and we've been talking about other things, but she would like some prayers for her husband. He is um, a stem cell transplant patient and a cancer patient. And she just realized when she kissed him on the head that he was hot. So prayers coming his way to make sure that this is something that'll pass and it's not going to be a problem. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Well, I shouldn't laugh. I wasn't laughing at that. I was laughing at what was on my screen here. Um, so anyways, Chris, we have prayers coming your way. We hope that your husband is just, it's just a little fluke and everything's going to be okay. And then Haley and I were talking today and she has an ultrasound tomorrow and um, she's actually going to ask her doctor. I hope it's okay. I can tell people this, huh, Haley? I think it is. She's going to ask her doctor if maybe her doctor would consider inducing her. She's at, I think she said 27 weeks. So the baby is considered full term. She's due on 420. And she, I think, would like to get this baby born and out of the hospital because they keep saying that this virus is going to get worse. It's going to get worse. And so if she could have that baby now and get her out of the hospital and take her home and isolate her, um, I think that would be better for everyone involved, right? She's like kind of thinks that her doctor will say no, but she's going to ask anyways. It doesn't hurt to ask, right? So anyways, okay. Yeah, I have some things to share with you guys because, oh, let me bring this up on my screen. Um, I didn't do that yet. I got some happy mail today. I was opening mail in the kitchen and I can honestly say that my heart was just full. Like you guys are so sweet. It's unbelievable. Let me pull my live up here. My computer's running a little slow, and it's not because we have too many kids home using the internet. It's probably because, like, the internet is just being taxed right now really bad, right? Okay, here comes my comments. Make sure that they're rolling properly. There we go. Uh, Jean wants me to keep her updated about Chris. I will do my best to do that. Um, Chris... If you're watching tonight, you keep us updated on what's going on with your husband because we will be your prayer warriors. Like, we will be sending good wishes and prayers and whatever your thing is. Don't discriminate against that. If you're not a praying person, you just give your, your, your good wishes. Hi, Sherry. I'm happy to see you come in here. I miss you. 
Okay, I have to show you my mail. My mail today was just the coolest thing ever. So I got a card. Oh, who did this one come from? This one came from Jane Gaffney. Look at this. This uses the well-dressed stamp set that is in the Celebration second release. So this is the man stamp set. And I thought this was really cool. She wanted me to make sure everybody knew that this card was cased from Angela McKay. So that was really sweet, Jane. Jane says, oh my gosh, I don't even know if I can read all the gushy part. Are you guys ready for this? Because like, I don't want to make anybody sick or, <laughs> or seem like I'm being arrogant or you guys know me better than that, right? Hi, Brody. I'm happy to see you. And I hope you're staying home and keeping the cooties at bay. Um, anyways, it says, Dear Kelly, you are amazing, and that's a fact. I know how hard it must be to stay positive with such uncertainty right now. You are sunshine in my day. Thank you so much for the daily videos. You rock. And Jane, you are also sunshine in my day. And you know what? Your card today just really made my heart full. So thank you so much. You are the sweetest. Next, I got this card from, hang on. I'm going to show you the card and I'm going to read Nancy Ellison. Nancy is a member of my team and she sent this card. It's a shaker card. Can you see the shaking going on there? Oh, it's kind of hard to see. There's shakers in here and this is the beautiful B set. And Nancy says, so um, <laughs> congratulations on your countdown to a million dollars with Stampin' Up. I can't wait to see you achieve that fantastic milestone. I have wanted to send you a card for some time to thank you for being an awesome leader. Nancy is one of my newer team members. If any crafter out there needs a testimony on joining Stampin' Up! on your team, I'm here to tell you, you are the real deal. Since joining as a discount shopper, you have never pushed me to sell or reach any monetary goal, and I will not do that. I really appreciate that. Now, if you can keep me from ordering so much, that would help me with my addiction. And... Nancy, that is completely where I draw the line. <laughs> I am never going to dissuade you from buying. <laughs> completely draw the line right there. She says, I don't do Facebook, so I'm not as involved as maybe other demonstrators. However, I do join in on the swaps because you are right about being part of something bigger. I enjoy receiving all the cards and ideas from all the talented demonstrators on your team. When making a card for you, meaning me, I struggle wondering if my crafting is up to your standard and then kick myself for those thoughts. Yes, big kick, big kick, Nancy. You have a special gift of encouragement and you have always blessed me with your kindness on my crafting. Thank you for all the videos you provide to inspire us and for all the online classes for free. I know you put a lot of work into all that. I love being on your team. Right? Like, amongst so much negativity, and I do keep myself away from negative stuff, you guys. That is a choice. Amongst so much negativity, to have so much love pouring out. And I got this today. Like, all of this stuff came today. It's just crazy. Like, I don't, I don't even know what to say. I'm, I'm speechless. And Kathy said, Nancy's swap cards are always amazing. And they are. So... Nancy, you stop thinking twice about your cards. They are beautiful. The people that swap with us on our team do just an exceptional job. They really put a lot of work into their swaps. Then I got this beautiful, look at this beautiful envelope. This is from Wendy Sue Winter. She's one of my team members in Rhinelander, Wisconsin. And look at this card. Holy cow. Like, that's a bouquet of flowers, right? That is incredible. Oh my goodness. Haley said, everything is good. Ultrasound tomorrow. Going to see what my doctor says about possibly being induced. I'm very worried about the virus getting worse and hospital restrictions becoming more strict and possibly not letting my husband be in there like New York just did. Fingers crossed he can be there. I'd be devastated if he couldn't. Already disappointed. Mama can't be there also. Yeah, they've already said that they're not going to let anybody else in at this point. So... Um, we, lots of prayers, Haley. We have lots of prayers coming that everything will be okay. Okay, we're going back to Wendy Sue's card. Look at it. It's just beautiful, isn't it? It's beautiful. This tulip set is so pretty. So when I opened up this card, this is what I see. 
And I'm like, holy cow, that's like a million dollar bill. <laughs> I started laughing. It really does. It's like the texture of a bill. And it says a million dollars on it. It's crazy real looking. It says, thanks for all the daily video videos. Hope this helps you get to the million, LOL. Wendy Sue, card cased from Donna Gray. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> I was giggling, Wendy Sue, that was pretty funny. I'm gonna put my million dollars right up here, sister. <laughs> so for anybody who hasn't been following me or you're new to me, once I hit my million dollars with Stampin' Up, you get so many things. You get a first class um, trip to Salt Lake City, which is where our home office is for two people. They pay for everything. They put you up in a ritzy hotel. They give you lavish gifts. Um, like I think like every day you're there. You get to go to the home office. You get to do stuff there. They present you with one of those giant checks like they do on like Publishers Clearinghouse. And the check is for $10,000. So you get a $10,000 bonus. You get a $3,000 product credit. You get to design your own stamp set. It's just like, it's a super duper big deal. So that's why if you see Stampin' Up! demonstrators coming into that million dollar mark, they're like stoked, right? Um, next, we have a card. This one is from Raleigh, North Carolina. Oh, and this was super cool. This is from Christine. Okay, ready? I hope I don't break the wobbler like I did on my um, leprechaun box. This has a wobbler in it. Whoops, if I could get it. There we go. There's a wobbler in here with the guitar, and this is from that music set that's in the spring mini catalog, and I thought this was super cool. It says, you rock on it, and then, ready for this? Top 10 reasons I subscribe to Kelly Atchison. This was really funny. 10, she's an unapologetic hunter. And that's right, I will never apologize to you for hunting. Number nine, she loves chocolate with sea salt caramel. Thanks, Connie. Number eight, she uses the Amish tape like a boss. <laughs> that one made me laugh. Number seven, she's about to be a grandmother. Woohoo! Oh, you guys gotta see my shirt. What does it say? I know it's backwards. I can't keep calm. I'm going to be a grandma. Yeah. Haley got that. Um, so number six, she's smart enough to pick a husband who cooks. Well, there's a little story behind that, but I'll take it. Number five, creativity oozes from her. Number four, she's human and gets inky fingers like the rest of us. Number three, she can make you want to purchase stamps and designer series paper that aren't even close to being your style. Thank you, and you're welcome. <laughs> Number two, she can use Tombow glue like a real grown-up adult, unlike some of us. That's kind of a funny way to put it. Number one, she can stamp, emboss, and die cut without losing her crown. There you have it. She says, but seriously, Kelly, thank you so much for the inspiration. You are such a joy, and today you get it in writing. That's our stamp, and today you get it in writing, Christine. Christine, this was the cutest thing ever. Thank you so much. And now, I have to show you this. Hang on, I'm gonna put these all back here. I know I'm taking a lot of time today, but you know what? I don't think we really have anything else to do, do we? <laughs> okay, so I got a big box in the mail today. Haley. The big box that was on the counter, we should have opened it while you were here. And um, if you want to be surprised tomorrow, you don't want to watch this next part because I'm going to show everybody what it is. This, okay, hang on. I'm going to open the letter up here because this came from Barbara Barney. Look at how pretty this card is. Isn't that cool? Oh, how gorgeous is that? And I know it's backwards. It says, hello, the world needs more of you. Thanks for being you. Isn't that pretty? I love it. Okay, so you want to see what was in the box? Oh, let me read the letter first. It says, hi, Kelly. I was in the fabric store and saw this material, and it reminded me of the pictures I saw of your daughter's baby shower with all the beautiful decorations and food. I just had to buy it. I enjoy making bears and love giving them away. Hope your new little one will enjoy it. The baby crib card is one of the fav is one of my favorite baby cards. I saw it on YouTube and tweaked it a little so I could use Stampin' Up products. And then she says, sorry for using some retired products. Do not ever apologize for me. I am so happy people are stamping. That does not matter, not one iota. I just love the cute little baby stamp in the designer series paper. The crib rail is made using some of the sliding door dies. 
She says she's been stamping for over 20 years, and when my daughter was in her early teens, she would go with me to Stampin' Up! workshops and card classes. Now my daughter is one of the three great Stampin' Up! demonstrators that lead the card class I go to every month. You must be so proud! My daughter Cassie is also my upline. I have been a demonstrator or discount shopper a little over four years and have helped my daughter with a couple of workshops. Stamping is one of the wonderful interests my daughter and I have to share. I just want to thank you for all the Facebook Lives, videos, and your, wait, what, tips. I really look forward to watching them and enjoy learning all the new card making techniques. My dream when I can retire one day is to do what you do. Wait, what? That's not retirement, but it sure would be fun. <laughs> Barbara Barney, are you guys ready for this? So this great big box came, okay? And I'm like, holy cow, what is in here? You guys are gonna die. Okay, so the card was tied to the um, item in here, and I kinda, it's it's in a uh, vellum bag. You have to see the card. Look at this. Is that just the cutest thing ever? Oh my gosh, it is so cute. Yeah, totally adorable. So this was tied to the bear and she made this bear you guys she made the bear and this is the softest thing ever this is the fabric she saw that reminded her of all the decorations at the baby shower so stinking look at his little tail ah! and he's just a pale pale pink she is that not the cutest? Mm, it's so soft and it's really like fluffy. I can't even tell you, Barbara, how touching this was. Haley, Weedley has a new toy. <laughs> okay, <sighs> the end. <laughs> I just had to show you guys all this stuff. Like, oh, Haley's probably gonna wanna take this home, but until she does, I'm gonna get a little, I'm gonna get a little use out of it back here right because it is adorable let me put this back here and um the prize winner from yesterday was uh diane lewis <laughs> i lost her prizes like i was looking everywhere for him she d got the heart doilies and the round doilies and i couldn't find them any place today i'm trying to get them ready to go in the mail i can't find them can't find them can't find them I opened up my drawer and I had sent them in here with the envelope that I was showing you guys. So I did find her prize and they will be in the mail tomorrow because my mail had already come. But yeah. Anywho, thank you guys so much. I know I've taken up so much of your time right now. Let me put this with the bear because that's going to go home with Haley. I think we're ready to flip our screen around and do a little bit of stamping. I knew this would take a while. I'm not going to keep you much longer, I promise, but I have a really pretty card to share with you using the Parisian Blossom Specialty Designer Series paper. Okay, we're going to flip. Amy says that is the sweetest baby gift ever. I know, right? People are so kind and thoughtful. And I don't know, I, I don't want to say that it surprises me because I've seen so much of it that that's just not really the case anymore. I'm just always as equally touched, regardless of whether it's the cute um, top 10 list, which just took effort and thought and it was so sweet, or whether it's... Um, other things that have been sent to me, the cards, the kind words, the kind words are huge. People are so thoughtful. And I think as stampers and crafters, we tend to be a little more on that side, right? And I think you're seeing a lot of that come out now with the world in the crazy state that it is. Uh, somebody just asked, can you teach us how to make a, the card is over the top. Yeah, it really is. Um, so here's what I can tell you. If you guys look, whoops, I'm going to show you this from the bottom. If you look inside, she has created a box. And uh, here we go. It glues up against the side here. So she just created like a rectangle box. And then she adds the animals to the back of those rectangles. There's two of them in there. Okay. And then you have to have a card that lays down and pops back up. Right? Right. And I don't have any little animals like this to do something like this, but so I don't know that I'm really the person that could show you how to do it. 
but I can think about it a little bit. I'm pretty good at coming up with stuff. I know, Fran. Pam says that card is over the top. I yeah, we'll we'll talk about it. We'll see. We'll see. It is. It's super cute. Okay, we're flipping now. I promised we'd flip, and I I don't want you guys to be going. Oh my lord, she said she's gonna flip, and she's still yakking. La 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 la. We're gonna flip now. If you get motion sickness, please close your eyes. I'll let you know when you can open them up. Let me get my phone cord out of there. And here. Don't open yet. We're still wiggling, people. What are you guys drinking tonight? You know what I'm drinking, right? Strawberry lemonade. I'm boring. I really wanted a margarita today, though. I, I drove by our Mexican restaurant, which is like a block away. It's called Solea, and I love it. And I we drove by that to go out to Sherwood, and I said, oh, my Lord. Oh, you can open your eyes, by the way. I said, oh my Lord, I would really like a margarita. And so Leia is closed and it just makes me sad. They have the best Mexican food, the best margaritas ever. Now, I promised that I would show you this paper big, like the real pieces. Look at that foil. Now this is champagne foil. It's not silver or gold, it's champagne colored. And these sheets you can find, um, I have a YouTube video about how to do this, which has a link that you can print off these pages so you can make pages like this too. But each one of these are two inches. It's both sides of the designer paper. Here's that champagne right here. So these are the coordinating colors that go with the paper. And I love the champagne foil. I just got a brand new pack of it in last week. So there's the beautiful floral side with the with the foil. Here's the other side. This is petal pink with cherry cobbler. And then we have more champagne petal pink and cherry cobbler. Isn't that pretty? And then we have pool party. Yep. Okay, I just had to list that pool party. Yep, it is. Okay. Then we have these keys. And this, I don't know what they call that, but that thing. Yeah, you guys know I am not good with all those fancy terms. And then we have some more champagne foil on the centers of these flowers and just a general design. Here we have some luggage with some postage stamp marks. That's pretty cool. Something like you might see on a passport. And some other little symbols. It says 1889. That must have something to do with the tower thing. <laughs> and again, I should keep my mouth shut about stuff like that because I really don't know. Um, it's not the Leaning Tower of Pisa because I've been there, but um, that whatever, the, the Eiffel Tower, boom, there we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, winning. And then here's some more of the champagne and this says um, Amore, Paris, Merci, Bonjour, um, yeah. Polyvoo Francais. No, it doesn't say that, but that's all I know. So I've dazzled you with all of my foreign language skills. <laughs> and then these beautiful flowers. Now there's a whole stamp set and a whole suite of products that goes with this. Today I'm just going to use the paper. So this is it. That's that's what I'm using. Oh, and the embossing folder. Okay. Uh, what is this called? This is called the Parisian something or another embossing folder. And by golly, we're going to we're going to find out what it's called because I don't remember. It's on page 16 in our mini catalog. And here we go. Parisian Flourish 3D Embossing Folder. So we've got the paper. There is a stamp set and dies and a stamp set and dies. So you've got two different stamp sets with two different sets of dies. One is floral and the other one has the um, Eiffel Tower in it. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Is that right? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Then Parisian Flourish Embossing Folder, Champagne Rhinestones. These might be on back order right now, and I think this might be too, but you can I think you can still order the ribbon. I if you put it in and it says it's not available, it's coming soon. So I should have checked that before I came on. Here's some beautiful, beautiful cards made with this suite of products. And then here's a big picture of the stamp set and then also the dies right there. These are so, so, so pretty. And then we've also got the dies over here. And then this is the stamp set. And it's also very, very pretty. Okay, next. 
I am going to bring my big shot up here. And we are going to dot die. We're going to emboss a four by five and a quarter inch piece of petal pink in this giant embossing folder. Now, this is one of the new ones, so you need to use the blue plate with it. And if anybody is looking to order the blue plate in my online store, if you just type in blue plate in the search, this will pop up. Um, because it's not in the catalog yet. It's something that came out after. So just do a search for blue 3D plate or blue plate. Look at that. Oh, I must have had some. Hang on, I had some dust in there from other cardstock. But is that not gorgeous? Yeah. Okay, let's get this out of the way. We're done with that. I decided today to combine this with the tags in bloom. Now, I want to be showing you ideas with celebration stuff because of course celebration is almost over on Tuesday March 31st is the last day that you can get all the free stuff that is part of our celebration promotion and right now I'm looking for oh here it is <laughs> this is part of our second release celebration and we've got this beautiful stamp set here this coordinates with the label me lovely punch this and this and also with the label me fancy punch which is right here so two punches will match this particular stamp set you can get this free with your hundred dollar order and there are 19 different stamps in here so this is a pretty significant stamp set right all right on to our card I'm gonna get out all my bits and pieces Oh, and I have to give credit for this card to Kathy Beck. She is a member of my team. This was one of her swap cards. So that's pretty cool, right? This is what I like to do with the swap cards. I share them with you guys. And, uh, yeah, this is Kathy's design. So first thing here, we have a Whisper White card base. This is five and a half by eight and a half, and I've already scored it at four and a quarter. Just going to bring my bone folder in and burnish that edge. And we are going to lay this, I should say, adhere this right to the front. Did you guys notice something off yet? Something off with me? Who's noticed what's off? Do you want me to show you? Look, <laughs> I don't have two fingernails. <laughs> I know, right? I like picked them off yesterday. So I have acrylic nails. You can see this one is kind of broken off too. I have acrylic nails and they only stay so long looking nice before they start growing out and then they start separating and then I just busted them off and this is what I'm going to look like until our life opens back up and I can go to the nail salon. I know you guys will be fine with it because you're so sweet. But yeah, it's a little disconcerting that, yeah. There's way bigger problems in the world, right? Oh, poor Kelly. She has to do her own nails. I'll be fine. It's not a big deal, but I don't like it. <laughs> okay, next thing we're going to do here is we're going to bring in our Memento ink pad. Cindy says hers are all gone. And, uh, yeah, yeah. I, um, yeah, it makes me sad. I, oh, what am I going to do with this? Let's, let me think about this a bit. I think I'm going to go with pool party on this one. So I'm going to bring in my pool party ink. That's a coordinating color with this set, um, designer series paper. And I'm going to stamp that here. Just a nice, pretty little outline. I like that I can do it in a different color. And then I thought, I love this, I miss your face. I miss your face is very appropriate to send to just about anyone right now because we can't see people, right? I miss my Anna. I can't go over to Anna's house and I miss her and I miss my mom. I can't go see my mom right now. Um, I don't want to spread anything to her and more so than that, I don't want to go over to somebody's house and bring something back here that's going to cause harm to Haley and the baby. So I'm having to be super careful right now. There we go. I miss your face and this matches up with the Label Me Lovely punch. So we're just going to line this up. Let me see if I can get it evened up in here. There we go. And then I thought what would be pretty would be to take some of the copper 
or not copper, the champagne foil, and we'll punch one of those out too. I wanted to make this just a tiny bit blingier. So I'm gonna bring in, hang on. I'm gonna bring in my little guillotine cutter. Why? Because I can. Hang on, I'm tangled up in cords here. Um, I am going to cut this right in half. And again, this little cutter is the coolest thing to have on my desk to do all these little things. It doesn't take up much space, not like a, you know, a big cutter. So I really do like having it here. And you can only get this when you join as a discount shopper before the end of the month. And you get a whole bunch of other stuff. And if anybody needs details on that, ask me. But otherwise, I've said it so many times now. If you're on the fence about it, you have nothing to lose. Order your kit. If you decide it's not for, for you, you can continue to order from me. I will never look down on you and go, oh, there's that Betty. She ordered the kit from me and then she, you know, she dropped off my team. Nope, happens all the time. It's what works for you. That's what I'm concerned about. And ordering that starter kit is the best deal of the year. $215 worth of product for $99. You get free shipping, you get a paper pumpkin kit, and you get a 20% discount on future orders. Isn't that pretty? Like, that just really kind of blings that up. Now, I'm going to grab some dimensionals. Let's see if I can find some big ones. Oh, those aren't big either. Let me bring my whole basket up here. So, here they come. It's kind of a mess. I should really it up a little bit. What is this? Oh, those are dimensionals too. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at that. Holy cow, I got a whole strip of them off in there. And I am going to put four on here because this is a kind of big layer. I wanted to have some good, um, be sturdy. How about that? I'm going to close this up. Now, the other thing that I did was I took three pieces of the Parisian designer series paper and this is cut two by three. These are all two by three, two by three. Now I'm gonna bring in my card base here and we're going to start with this one and I'm going to start right about here. Oh my gosh, and that's got, that looks like it's got purple posy in there, writing in the background. Huh, I didn't even realize that until I was looking at it right now. So we're gonna kinda of do a little bit of this. I love these kinds of cards because this is a great way to use your scraps of designer series paper. You could do this with any any um, designer series paper, right? You're just going to use coordinating colors with it. Now that one I put like kind of right in the middle. And then this floral layer I'm going to bring right over here and do that kind of angled. That's a good word to use. Now, we've got this white flax ribbon, and this stuff is really nice because number one, you can pull it apart. <laughs> Did you see I couldn't get it out of there? You can pull it apart string by string and you can tie it, you can do whatever you want with it. I'm going to take this piece and I'm gonna use about a piece this big. And we are going to cut both ends at a diagonal. Just like that. And then I'm going to get my glue dots out. Joanne says she likes lots of dimensionals on her cards. That's awesome, Joanne, because I sell dimensionals and I want you to use hundreds of them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not really. I do want you to use hundreds of them, but that was a joke. Okay, this is going to go right in the middle of the layer. And I just thought this was a really nice accent that Kathy used for her card. Then we're going to take this, I miss your face, and whoops, we're going to put that right in the middle here. And what a nice, simple, pretty little card that I can send to just about anyone in my life right now. We need one more thing, hang tight. I am going to search for my little rhinestones and of course you guys ever have this problem <laughs> I 
I can find a million sets, but they're not the ones I already have open that I've used already. So we're just going to open up a brand new pack because why not? I know I'll use these. These are so pretty. Um, I think these are back ordered right now. I can't wait for them to come back in because they're just really pretty. They really add a lot to my projects. I like to use my take your pick tool and I'm just going to set some of these rhinestones down oops, to add a little bit of bling to my card. And how about we put one uh, right down here. So we've got three rhinestones on there and I think I need a few more. I'm going to put one right here and maybe one right there. What do you think? Was that a good idea? I think so. Okay, next I've got an inside layer here. Oh, that's not long enough. What was I thinking? I was thinking that this was not a, I thought this was a tall card. So hang on. We're going to grab our paper and we're going to take out this piece. And guess what? I have my little guillotine cutter right here. Is this going to be long enough? Oh, that would have been funny. No. <laughs> I would have been like, oh, way to go, Kelly. You're just a genius tonight. I want one of the blue ones. And this one will work. That one's going to be pretty. What color is this one? Oh, I like that one. Okay, I want the flowery one. Okay, here we go. So I need this to be about five and a quarter. So hang on. I'm going to measure this part. And this cutter is a little bit too small to do that. So now I'm going to put it in here and I'm going to take, uh, that's at two, I'm going to go up to one and a quarter. I want about three quarters of an inch here. Yep, that'll be perfect. Is, is this the, where did it go? Oh, <laughs> like what happened to it? I'm like, that doesn't fit. Here we go. All right. Whew, I'm really hot. I'm having a little hot flash. I think the um, rhinestones sent me right over the edge. Like, do you guys that ha have hot flashes, do you ever notice that any type of little agitation will kind of bring them on? And I know that seems really stupid, but that's kind of the way they go, I think. Like, all of a sudden, I'll have some type of a little, like, oh my goodness, what am I going to do? And I was, I was just a little frazzled. I guess that I don't panic, but I was a little frazzled because I couldn't find my rhinestones and I didn't want to open a new package. And then, bam, I start sweating. Is that too much information for you guys? It's like, Kelly, oh, look what I did. I'm just completely crazy. So we have a white card base, and I wasn't really paying attention. But you know what? This is cool. Um, I would just put a strip of paper across the card base and not use another whole layer. <laughs> oh, you got to love live video. Okay, so anyways... That works right last but not least we need to do this we need to make a matching envelope and I'm pretty sure I got this part right I know you guys appreciate my honesty and my bloopers right because I am really good at them <laughs> I'm the queen of bloopers okay here we go so tomorrow I have a blog hop with the a paper pumpkin thing blog hop design team and we uh, we have to make an alternate idea card and also a 3d item so you'll be able to see that tomorrow on my blog and of course my blog address is right here and do you guys know you can go to my blog and you can in the right hand column there's a place for you to subscribe to it and what happens when you subscribe is every time I add something new to my blog, like today my wait what Wednesday tip video is on there. I haven't shared that on Facebook yet. But every time I add something new to my blog, you will get an email in your email inbox telling me that telling you that I've added something new to my blog. <gasps> Look how pretty that is! Oh my goodness, is it gorgeous? Yeah, I love the champagne. Right, that's such a different look. But anyways, you can subscribe to my blog, www.stampabove.com. Also on my blog, you're going to find an online ordering button in the right-hand column. If you'd like to order any of the supplies that I've shown you or any of the supplies in our catalog, I always appreciate your orders. 
and uh, make sure you share this video please share the video that really helps me build my business now even if you're not a stamper if you just popped in here to see what was going on um, share push that share button and share this on your timeline uh, be on your news feed because you never know which friends you have that might be into crafts and say oh that looks really fun I'd like to get into that or oh my gosh I haven't stamped in years I think I should start stamping again or oh my gosh I'm a stamper and I didn't know she was doing live videos and I have free classes every day until we get over this crazy coronavirus shutdown that's what's happening so please share to your timeline I really really appreciate it I see Michelle is asking, um, does glue work better than the tape runners? Well, here's the deal. I'm going to flip you guys around. So if you get motion sickness, close your eyes. We're going to flip right now. Whoops. Uh, my phone just had a little major meltdown. <laughs> Gave me a naughty error. Do not rotate your phone during a Facebook Live. That's what it just told me. But... Um, Michelle's asking if glue works better than the tape runners. So here's the deal, Michelle. I started using the liquid glue, which is this, versus tape runners, and here's why. If you happen to put your piece down, and it's not exactly where you want it, you could just move it a little bit, you can slide it around a little bit until the glue dries, right? When you do it with this, you have to pull it up. Sometimes it rips, sometimes it doesn't. I just really find that the liquid glue serves me better because I like to do a lot of adjusting like that. Um, and I don't like tearing things up. And I think it goes a lot further than a tape runner. It's only $4 a bottle. And I, you see how many cards I make? I probably, I don't even know. I'm gonna write a date on the next bottle that I open up, but I know this lasts me longer than a month. And that's $4 longer than a month. Plus I get, I get a 38% discount on my glue because that's my discount as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, discount shopper. So um, it's a really good, can you hear my husband? <laughs> he is in the next room right there. And so remember the laundry room that we redid? He is in there right now putting in a new toilet because we didn't change the toilet out, but the toilet keeps running. Like it gets stuck inside the tank and it doesn't shut off. So he's putting in a new toilet and he's also replacing the wood trim because we didn't do that in there either. We just had the walls painted. So he's replacing the trim so that it's nice and neat, not all dinged up and dented and whatever. So um, let's see what else. Oh, I don't know why this isn't this isn't scrolling. So hang on, you guys. I know I'm wiggling you. Oh my goodness. Oh, I just got rid of my messages. Okay, there we go. Carol says the glue is awesome. The glue is awesome. <laughs> and Char says good good job, Steve. Um, have you ever heard of undo to lift up the tape? Uh, no, Sandra, I haven't. And here's the deal. I don't buy products from other places. So if Stampin' Up doesn't um, carry it I don't know anything about it like I live in my little tiny box and I, and it that's exactly what it is I live in my little bubble it's my Stampin' Up! bubble because I get a big discount on my products I won't buy from other places I only buy stamping supplies from Stampin' Up! but sounds like it might be kind of a good product I mean I don't know um, Karen says home improvements never end they don't oh and then I wanted to say something yesterday um, I wasn't catching all of the messages going through, which, you know, is common because it's really hard to do. But um, I thought somebody was having a discussion about politics that I just kind of came in on the end. And I kind of said, oh, no, we're not going to talk about politics. I just wanted to let you know it was somebody saying that they were having to choose between me and their governor making an announcement on TV and then I thought that's when I made my political comment like oh we're not going to talk about politics because you know what a show that is right we're not we're not doing politics but I just wanted to say I was really honored that you would even give that consideration <laughs> like like that you would even say hmm should I watch Kelly or should I watch my governor update us on the coronavirus <laughs> like, I was like Aww. So anyways, I just wanted to say that that was really funny and you weren't talking about politics and it was fine that you mentioned your governor. So, <laughs> okay, I miss your face. What stamp set does that come from? That is from the Tags in Bloom, Sharon. 
This is free with your $100 order. It is a stamp set that has 19 different stamps in it. I'm going to try mirroring my screen. I haven't tried doing it in a long time. It flashes funny, like, like um, migraine-inducing light was the last time I tried to mirror my screen. But here is the tags in bloom. I'm just waiting to see how that's going to work out, if it still is doing the flashing thing in the background. And... Yeah, it is. See the flashing in the background? It's not good. So I'm going to unmirror my screen. And now the flashing stops. It's a iPhone to Facebook problem. Nothing I'm going to do about it, and I, don't, I just can't deal with it. <laughs> I know, Denise, I know you love when I mirror the screen. I totally get it. And that's why I have to like show you guys down on the table, because that way it's not backwards. <laughs> Sharon says, I'm sorry, I chose my governor. Sharon! Like I said, I was just honored that you even gave that a consideration. Like Kelly or the governor talking about the welfare of the world. It was funny. <laughs> so I just wanted to say thank you. <laughs> okay, you guys, did I miss any questions that anybody had? Um, yeah, I know the flashing is really weird, right? It's a, it's a download thing. I had it happen back in January, and I mean, I did so much research on it. I looked all over the internet. I called um, U.S. Cellular, which is my cell phone service. I called iPhone. I call. I went to the U.S. Cellular store because I didn't like the answer I got over the phone. So I went to the store, and I just happened to be talking to a rep. And one of the other workers heard what I was saying, and she came over, and she's like, "I just did a video." And I mirrored my screen and I sent it to a friend and noticed that it was flashing like that too. But my phone just updated over the weekend and now it stopped. So that's when we realized it was a iPhone update that caused the flashing. And so then I, I was, oh my God, I wasted so much time on the phone with um, Apple. They're really awesome. They, I was back and forth, I don't know, 10 different phone calls. We backed up my whole system. We downloaded Catalina, which is their new service, blah, 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 blah. Hours and hours and hours I got from Apple. Um, and it finally went away, but it was just because they updated their software. It wasn't anything we did. So, <laughs> yeah, it's like, hmm, all that for nothing. So that's why I'm not going to do it again. I'm not going to call them and say, hey, you're jacking up my Facebook Live when I mirror my screen. <laughs> just going to leave it alone. Let it go. Just let it go. So. That's why I can't mirror my screen. Is that too much information? Hi, Paula. I'm happy to see you here. Your sister-in-law just got an iPhone and she doesn't have the flashing. Okay, Deb, tell me, is your sister doing a Facebook Live and is she mirroring the screen? That's what I need to know. Okay, Cindy says, I'm so glad you have taken time to share with us daily. You see, I've been watching from my hospital bed. Aw, Cindy, I'm so sorry. Let me see if I can get the rest of your information to come up here. Hang on. Um, she says, I, you see, I've been watching from my hospital bed in rehab now. The past two and a half weeks of surgery and rehab, I fell and broke my femur in three places. Oh, my Lord. Hurts like anything and on weight bearing six to eight weeks. So glad to have Stampin' Up. Oh, we are sending you well wishes right now. Oh my goodness, Cindy. Thank you so much for watching the videos and I'm glad that you have something to watch, right? It's kind of scary to be in the hospital right now too, isn't it? I can um, imagine. Yeah. So did anybody answer me? Who is going to answer me? Yes, she does Facebook Lives every Thursday night, and she she mirrors the screen. Well, it might be that my phone, my phone doesn't tell me it needs an update, though, so I don't know what's going on. But thank you for telling me that, because that gives me more information. So, Patty's working on her Welcome Eastern kit class. Patty, did your kit come okay? I always like to know if it's, like, destroyed did they destroy the envelope like the post office sometimes can they can be so brutal with the packaging and I tried to tape them all really good so that they wouldn't be able to destroy it too much right I gotta see what Joe just said Joe ah uh, thank you Joe I'm helping keep her sane you are very welcome Okay, you guys, I have videos to edit. I have photos to edit and watermark. I have a blog post to make. 
I have a video to upload. And I might have to eat a taco. <laughs> I'm going to let you guys go. Um, what's today? It is Wednesday. Do you, are you guys finding that you aren't keeping track of the days of the week very well right now? Because I'm not. Um, okay, so she said the kit... Connie says the kits you send come looking great. Okay, good. She said her kit was destroyed, but it was all there. Uh, what do you mean your kit was destroyed, Laura? Like the contents or the envelope? Because I know they're really, really... Um, Terry said her post, her mailman or male woman, I think she has, tried to smash hers, but it made it... I know it's tricky. It's tricky sending out these kits because you want to try and, you know, we want them to get there. And, um, yeah. Oh, Carol wants to know how much it costs to mail that shaker card that you got. I think it was a dollar twenty, if I remember correctly, on the envelope. I think it was a dollar twenty. Bonnie, you're welcome. Thanks for the share, Elizabeth. You guys give me a thumbs up too. That's really helpful. It does something with the analytics on Facebook. It's all kind of a mystery to me. I just do what I'm told, what I learn, right? Okay, looking for any other questions. The days run together, Lois says. Yep, they sure do. The envelope was destroyed. Okay, Laura, yeah, that's pretty common. They're brutal with stuff. They're just brutal. Ah, uh, you're welcome, Mary. I'm glad I can brighten the gloomy day. Yeah, it's really gloomy here, too. Okay, I will be back tomorrow. I don't know what time. I can't limit myself like that, but I'll pop up a notice and let you know when I'm going to be here. Watch for my blog hop tomorrow for those paper pumpkins. And, um, yeah, Cindy just shared her address. If anybody would like to send a card to her at her daughter's, that would be really nice. She's from Kennett, Missouri, so... That's, I'm glad you did that, Cindy. Thank you so much because I'm sure everybody would like to send you a get well card. That's pretty rough, especially with everything that's going on right now. I want you guys to stay safe, stay sane, stay home, and stay crafting cards, anything else that you like to do. It's good for the soul. It's good for the mind. It makes people happy to make things. So I hope you will continue to do that. Keep your chin up. Stay away from the negativity. It will do nothing but drag you down with it. Don't go there. All right. I look forward to tomorrow too, Rose. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Denise is still going to clinic because she works there. Mm, yeah. Oh, <laughs> videos de decompress you. I'm glad. Because you do, you need a little decompression. I think all of us need a little decompression every day, even if it's just from the boredom of being stuck at home. Like, I want to go out to lunch. That's what I want to do. It's, it's not a big deal, but I can't do it. I know. Silly, silly. But it's my thing. <laughs> okay, you guys. Have yourselves a wonderful rest of your hump day, and I will see you back here tomorrow on Thursday. Bye-bye.